sets are tight. And I love the sound of tape. Oh man, so warm and fuzzy. It's like record, right? That's totally nostalgic for me. I love that. They're just cheap, cheap to make and uh, easy to pass around. They're stupid. <laughs> they want the worst audio quality you can worst possibly audio imagine. Worst quality whatsoever. That literally <laughs> degrades every time you play it. But I think it's more of a nostalgia thing. It's yeah, like it's a trend. I made mixtapes. I remember dubbing stuff. There's something about making the mixtape. Like that's a big deal. I think making a mixtape is a huge thing. Uh, I remember doing that. You know, anytime I ever had a crush on anyone. I would make a mixtape in it. There was a lot of thought that went into it. I love how a lot of uh, the, the older, the older stuff are coming back. Like, like, like the Nintendo Classic, for, for instance. Like everything's making a comeback. The, the cassette tapes, the, the eight tracks. A lot of people are collecting records again, which, which is really great. I mean, I, I can see it as a, a cheap way of, of, of selling somebody like a physical thing with a download code. But I don't know how many people are actually listening to cassettes. I feel like I'm old enough to have like actually used cassette tapes when they were a major music medium. So I feel like I might not be the target market for the revival. You know, you might right. have to have like like, you know, like I remember how crappy these things were. Yeah, like maybe you like have to be of the generation that aged out of them to feel that particular kind of nostalgia. I'm not right. sure. The whole genesis of so. my love for music started with cassette tapes. My mom used to work at a record store, and she would like dub records when they would come in onto these cassettes she would write on them in like little blue pen and it'd be like Prince or David Bowie or like Steely Dan and I never saw what the artist looked like and I would just have to listen to the whole album because it's super annoying to like skip to a song on a tape so to me like they have a pretty like had a pretty significant impact on me and now I think like when you buy a physical copy of anything if it's not vinyl like you're not going to listen to it so Cassette tapes are just like a cool like memorabilia to have and to own. Buying hard copies of albums is, is in many ways it's over. And people who really want to stay connected to the tangibility of music are buying vinyl. You can look at it, it's big, it's great. Will cassettes also play that role? I don't know, I doubt it.